What's going on guys? Welcome to the last part of building an Instagram app series. In the last several parts, we built out the core functionality of our app. But if you recall to the very first few videos, we had created this welcome screen and we just left it as this, uh, as this green background here. So we're gonna spend some time to go ahead and design this and make it nicer. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by liking the video down below, helps out a lot. Go ahead and open up Xcode and let's jump back into the project. The first thing we're gonna do is I went ahead and found this image on Google Images. It's just a bunch of album artwork squares that are in a grid. We're gonna bring this into the project. So I'm gonna open up our project tree here and under all these folders, first let me go ahead and close all these folders. We're gonna jump into, I think I put it in resources so under assets. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new asset and this is going to be, let's just call this, let's call it albums background. And we're gonna go ahead and drag in our image and drop it on the one X. Next up, we're gonna go and let me actually copy the name here. We're gonna go and jump into our controllers folder and then we're gonna jump into uh, other and we wanna find welcome view controller, which is I think one of the first controllers we made when building this app out. And what I'm going for here is the background will be this image and we're gonna have a dark overlay on it and then we're gonna have some text on top of it. So let's go ahead and first add that image view. So we're gonna say private let image view will be a UI image view. You might um, benefit from calling this background image view. It's probably a more appropriate name than just image view, but let's just stick with image view for the time being. We're gonna return this. I'm gonna say image view dot content mode. Content mode is going to be scale aspect fill. So it fills the entire size of the image view. We're gonna also go ahead and assign an image to this. And this is gonna be named uh, whatever, whatever you called it in your assets. Go ahead and add this onto the view. We're also gonna set the background color to be black. We're gonna add the image view here. And in view did layout sub views, we're gonna say image view dot frame is going to be view dot bounds. Go ahead and do that. And actually one thing I forgot here is we wanna add the image view as a sub view before we add the button. So the image view is below the button in terms of the Z axis. So if you go ahead and add it, you're gonna start getting something that looks like this. Uh, this is all right for now, not super great. So let's go ahead and add a dulled uh, overlay on top of it, maybe uh, a UI view with just some opacity set. So we're gonna say this is a overlay view, which will be a UI view. I'm gonna go ahead and create a view here. We're gonna go ahead and simply return it. We'll give it a nice background color of black. And we're gonna give it a nice alpha of let's say 0 0.7. And we'll see what this looks like. Go ahead and add this as a sub view after the image view. And we want to also give it the exact same frame here as the image view, which is view.bounds. So go ahead and do that and load up your application. Oh, I did blue. I think I did blue instead of black. We wanted to go with black. Let's try that one more time. And we should have a nice overlay. It might be a little too dark. Oh, that was perfect, actually. So we have that. We have Spotify up here, which looks great. And we're just going to add a Spotify logo right here. And underneath it, we'll have some text. So let's go ahead and create another image view. This is going to be logo image view. We're going to say this is a UI image view. And I think we already brought in the Spotify logo and called it uh, logo in the assets. Let's go ahead and create this image view with an image, UI image named, should be named, yep. And this will be a logo. We're gonna return said image view. And let's also go ahead and set a content mode on here, which we're gonna say is scale aspect to fit. So there's that image. We also will add in a label since we're in here already and we'll uh, tweak it once we run it, if need be. Let's go ahead and add this label. We're gonna return the label. We're gonna say label.txt is going to be listen to millions of songs uh, on the go. That's what it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and add some line breaks in here. So that'll be a line break, millions of songs. And we'll say on the go, we'll go ahead and line break right here after on. 
we'll see what that looks like, but we do want to go ahead and say for this label, number of lines is zero, so it does line break. And then we also are going to say that the text color will always be white since our background is dark. And we're gonna give it a nice font of system font, size of let's try 32, weight of maybe semi-bold, that might be a little too bold, we'll adjust as needed. And at the bottom of view to load, go ahead and add label as a sub view, as well as the uh, image view, which is logo image view. The one other thing that I saw that I did not like is the text color of this button is blue. Let's go ahead and make that black so it uh, just looks a little nicer. So we have a background color as white. I wanted this to be black. I think that was a typo several videos ago. And we wanna just go ahead and add some frames now. So we're gonna say the logo image view is going to have a frame. CG rect is going to be 00, zero we'll say 120 by 120. The X is going to be view.width minus 120 divided by two. The Y is going to be, let's see, this is going to be view.width or view to height rather. And I'm gonna subtract 200 and say divided by two. So it will be a little further up than vertically centered and that's by design. And the uh, label will be right below this. I'm gonna say that the X is 30. The Y is logo image view dot bottom plus uh, 30. Width is view dot width, subtracting 60. And height, let's go ahead and say this is 150 and we'll see if that's enough space. So go ahead and give it a run and let's see this in action. So we should have a Spotify logo, which we do. And we have our label there as well, but what the heck happened to the frame? Let's see, 30, our width is view.width uh, minus 60, not 360. And I also forgot to uh, center the label here. We're gonna say text alignment is centered. Go ahead and give that a run once more. And the label looked a little low. Let's see if we can adjust it. Oh, that's perfect actually. So you could actually make the, um, you can make the background even darker if you want. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually going to move the logo image view up in the Y direction. We're going to say subtracting. That's our uh, logo image view X. We're going to say subtracting perhaps 350. Let's see what that looks like at this point. I'm just being nitpicky. So, okay, that's looking much better. I don't know why I like that one better. But yeah, this is basically our application full and complete. So if you, uh, if you enjoyed this whole series, definitely leave a comment and like down below. It took me a long time to put this together. All of this code is available for every single subscriber on GitHub. I'm gonna link it uh, in every single video of this series. I also wanna call out, I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash iOS Academy. If you appreciate all the work that I put into this, all the hours, definitely consider supporting me through Patreon if you can. Definitely spread the word to other iOS devs that are learning or maybe might just enjoy this content. And finally, I've also got a bunch of other work that I'm working on iOS related. Head on over to iosacademy.io, drop in your email and you'll get updates, you know, once maybe every few months of some cool stuff that might be coming your way. So thanks again for watching, especially if you went through every single video, it has been a ton of work to get here. Uh, give yourself a round of applause. Uh, until next time, until the next video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.